Okay, so part two of the virtual makeover, I'm going to take the picture a little bit farther. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And I'm going to bring up my levels here. My black level is going to go, come up to about that point, And my white level is going to come down to about this point. Now, if you didn't notice much of a difference here, um, I'm going to uncheck Preview. And you can see that it went from kind of a gray, dull image to kind of a brighter image. I usually do that after I've done my my texture and my skin tones and stuff because sometimes you'll try to do a skin tone or something after and it just gets this unusual um, effect. So I'm going to start with that. And the next thing I want to do is I want to do a little bit of virtual makeup. Now the first thing you need to do here is do a new layer. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and now have a new layer. The reason I'm doing a new layer is I want to be able to add something and adjust it without messing up the layer underneath. All right, so I'm going to go black and fairly large brush. Could even be, well, that's a little bit too large. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click here, and I'm holding shift down so that I can draw this without having to um, do it freehand. My mouse is acting kind of funny. All right. And I'm going to put it on fairly thick. Okay, then I'm going to go to the other eye and do the same thing. Start from the inside of the eye and work out. Then I'm going to go back. Again, I want this nice and thick, but it's it'll make more sense here in a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and view it, fit it on the screen. Now that looks kind of funny. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit, not too much, maybe to 75%. And then I'm going to go to my Gaussian Blur. It's under Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay, and I'm going to blur it out. Like that. Maybe not quite that much. All right. And then what I'm going to do, because I've got this layer here selected and these are on their own, I'm going to go ahead and go to my eraser, make sure it has a hard edge, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the eyes here. And I want to erase just to the top of the eye. You see how it kind of brought some of that white back out? We want the white because the white makes people look healthier and, and brighter. No, not brighter, but you know what I mean. All right, so I've got my virtual kind of eyebrow and eyelashes on there. I'm going to add a, a blur effect, not a, a, a soft edge on my brush, and maybe a large brush. And I'm going to kind of just go over the edge here kind of soften the edge of the eye. All right, and I'm going to view, fit on the screen. All right, and I might want to soften the insides just a tad so she doesn't look like Egyptian. All right, and what I can do now, if I uncheck this, you'll see that it makes a little bit of difference, kind of makes her eyes pop a little bit. Um, basically, we have our original picture our picture that we ended up with and our virtual makeup layer. Now if you wanted to see the virtual makeup layer by itself so you can see that we have the shape of the eyes, this is the virtual makeup. Alright, so I could go back and turn this layer on. Alright, so we have this basic picture now and again that's without makeup, that's with makeup. And I want to do another effect. What I can do here is merge these two together and you know be careful when you merge your stuff because you may not want to you know you might want to be able to undo this at some point and I'm gonna copy and paste so basically I have a copy of this layer here okay you can also blur the background layer let me see let's go ahead and do a filter Gaussian blur and then go back to the foreground layer and erase the background. Okay, so sometimes this will give you a little more control. Alright, 
Um, and what this basically is going to do is it's going to give us some soft edges. It's going to hide a lot of the junk from the background. But again, you have to be careful because you don't want to lose your entire picture. See, I'm, I'm erasing the picture that's not blurry, and that's what we have left. So if you want, you know, paste yourself another one and keep it behind a layer so that you've got a, an original layer to work with. So anyway, I've got this basic picture here now. And what I can do here is I can take this layer and duplicate it put it on top and then I can add this um, overlay. Now I can really blur this one okay and so you can see that just by doing some effects here what this overlay with the blur did was it brought out the stuff beneath it which has already been blurred and you can get a really nice effect and you know, you can drop that down a little bit by, you know, adjusting the opacity. Um, same with these other layers here. So just by changing a few settings here, you get very different effects. So this would take you from, let me revert, let's see here. I'm going to drag this layer to the top. So this was our original and that's what we have now. Okay. And you know, again, it kind of depends on what you're going for, but I think that with these techniques, you know, you should be able to take a regular picture and, you know, modify it a little bit even if you don't want to go to that extreme there. Um there's a lot of good techniques here, so I hope you have fun with it and I hope you share with me some of the things that you do. Thank you very much.